All right, everybody, brief update. Doing a rough mock-up now that I have all the pieces cut. And I don't have any way of, well, I do. I guess I could, you know, get cinder blocks or whatever, but you'll get the idea. And also, too, this will give me a time to share a brainstorm that I had with myself about cosmetic after it's done, which the baffles have to be redone for two reasons. Number one, I decided to go with a, a front face like this to keep it super clean because you're not really going to see the sides a whole lot. So we're going to do inside cut here. And as you can see, here's an example. It's still going to be 16. And this box is based off of the number 16. All right. 16 and 32. So it's a very simple but different design. So we'll have to come and cut all this off. But this isn't actually a piece that I'm going to use on this because it's a little bit off. I'm, I'm really being particular with this. And I still got a ton of work to do. Sanding down. But I have all my pieces matched and marked out where I want them and even the back plate um, I have that piece and another one just like it and we'll put a clean side a forward this isn't even gonna matter anyway this this is not gonna be here uh, what you're gonna look at here is as you're looking at the box okay you're gonna have a tower an open space pretty much with a shelf here and here and it's gonna go all the way through where you see that line all the way through that shelf is going to go all the way through the box boom and that's going to separate the sub chambers from each other and there's also going to be a shelf here that's going to separate this little chamber for whatever and it's going to be pushed up quite a bit so as you can see this right here is actually what i was going to do as a flush mount but now i'm going to have to bring it up uh, at least to here okay and so we're going to lose an inch and a half on that here so it's going to leave about five inches in here we can still do uh, a two and three quarter a couple of piezo tweeters whatever it's going to look smooth just some old school like flat flush mounted tweeters to go in there with the grills and everything it's going to look super super clean and you so you'll have a shelf and a shelf and then a double lid just like this and sitting inside of here okay so it'll be right up in there down to about right there all right and there you go and that'll be the basis of the box but on top of that the battery is going to be here battery or batteries and to keep it clean i'm going to utilize this shelf here on the front side since it's going to have a shelf going to here okay and we're going to build a door okay and i may have to double layer it to match to come out some because the shelf's actually going to be uh, in here and it's gonna you know, it's gonna be recessed a little bit all right but I'm actually gonna hinge it and have a little pull up and make it look like a console you know how the old school console in your house where you kept like magazines or whatever in those fancy consoles and we'll just hinge it with a, like a piano hinge across here onto this shelf and just put a little knob here so you can uh, access it uh, the batteries or whatever you got to do after the fact or whatever but I think that Right there would be a good idea. Maybe even take the router and do some intricate design on the door here. This one I'm going to actually leave open because the amps are going to be mounted to here and here. Okay. So we're going to have a, a shelf. It's going to be here. This is going to be cut out. This is going to be a little box. This is going to be a little box. We're going to have two um, sundown. Oh no, the, the force of physics and wind and everything. Yeah, I got a little wind gust. Apologize about that. Rip on your headphones if you're wearing them anyway. So here we're going to mount two, what is it, D600s, the Sundown Audio SFB 600s. That's what it is. Uh, side by side here, and it'll be just enough room. And we'll have plugs going in to the sub box here and here. One amp of power this tower, one amp of power this tower. And then in the middle on top of this shelf, he's going to put a turntable. Up here he said he's found one it's got USB and Bluetooth and all that other good stuff on it so I think that'd be pretty nifty and in these little pods like I said we'll have to just do small speakers we won't be able to do six and a half or anything but we'll do like maybe a sundown two and three quarter full range and a piezo tweeter or whatever up here and that's how it'll be so other than it falling apart at the last moment I'm not gonna bother putting it back together you get the idea so I just wanted to give a brief update to everybody out there as I'm about to get up out of here, I'm done cutting. 
Um, only thing I'm lacking is I have one more piece of wood over there. That is going to be my sides, my actual sides in here and the baffles that I have to redo. Here's the reason I got to redo the baffles, okay? Because these, these cuts are actually clean. I got to, you know, I, I would have to sand them down. Here's the reason why I got to redo the baffles. After I spent all that time making a flush mount design, the version 2 basket is completely different. So that video that I posted about the comparison from the Sundown Audio LCS-12 version 1 and version 2, looking at the differences, they are completely two different subwoofers. I think they ought to just rename it because it's not even the same subwoofer. The mounts are completely different. Even taking the ring off, uh, the whole basket is just different. The way it's designed, the way it's, the surround is glued in, the actual sub cone or the cone is glued in, etc. so forth. And it almost fell through. Well, this is the flush mount, but the other piece that was smaller that I measured out, it almost fell through. I mean, there's daylight all the way around it. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's a small, it's still a 12 inch subwoofer, but it's got a smaller uh, mounting footprint. But when I go to see what the actual diameter of the cutout is, it's in the metric system, 0 0.0262, and it doesn't even tell you, millimeter, centimeter, inches, whatever. I ain't got that kind of time. I'm not gonna be doing all that. So what I did was I take, took one of the rings off the version twos. We're gonna recut the baffles, okay? And uh, use that ring as a guide for the inside cut, all right? And then we'll go back and do any trimming or whatever we have to do that way. And all is not lost with these because I was talking to James about it. And I said, look, what about if we do this? We take these, since these are the flush mounts, okay? And we take the one that's actually cut out for one of the LCS version ones, and we'll find a subwoofer that actually fits that cutout and we'll just turn this, since we have all this gap over here, and we'll turn it into a ported box. And then sell it. Or, maybe even better than that, do a giveaway. Maybe one of the car shows or whatever. And we'll raffle it off and give the proceeds to a, a charity of some sort. I don't know, there's a number of things we could do. Hmm, matter of fact, yeah, the only thing we'd be out is the cost of a sub. Because I already have, I, I have a LCS-1. I have a couple of blah punks, which, I mean, he was up there talking about putting them in there. I was like, no, man, those things, just leave them alone. Just leave them sit there. Because they're in a box, they're in plastic, they'll be sealed. But we'll find something out. Maybe somebody can donate some 12-inch subwoofers, and I'll just see if it'll fit in this hole once I get an exact diameter. But that's neither here nor there. Let me not digress too much. So, all is not lost with these baffles. I can always turn this into a ported enclosure, because they don't need but like a 2-inch port. All right, across here. Maybe not even that, I don't know. I'll check into it and see with the dimensions and everything that I have going on. And that's about it. It's Crafted of Mind. Go out there and have some fun. Woo!